So this question says, which of the following functions has or have a minimum value at negative 3? Okay. So, you know, the best way to do this is in Desmos. Right. So we run a graph, both of these, in Desmos. And all you're looking for, so minimum value just means, right, the lowest value is negative 3. So the lowest possible f of x value is negative 3. Um, of course, f of x is the same as y. So really, you're looking for y equals negative 3 as the lowest value. So let me just pull up my Desmos on my end. You won't be able to see it. I, I recommend that you do the same for yourself. Okay, so when I pull, when I put this in, so when I put this first one into Desmos, right? So I type in my negative 6, parentheses, 3, close parentheses, raise that to the x power, and then minus 3. I'm getting a graph that looks somewhat like, and I'll use red here, that looks somewhat like this. And this looks like a horizontal asymptote here at negative 3. So that definitely is not true, right? Because that would mean that negative 3 is like its maximum value, potentially, right? Because this graph is going down below negative 3. So 1 is gone for that reason. So let's type in um, equation 2. So equation 2 I type in, so negative 3, and then parentheses, and then 6, close parentheses, to the x power. Okay, and with that one, I'm getting a graph that looks pretty much like this, where it looks like the x-axis itself is the horizontal asymptote. But again, it's just continuing going down, so going down beyond negative 3. So once again, negative 3 is not, right, it is not the lowest value. So 2 is gone as well, which means only answer choice D would make any sense. It can't be either of those things, right? So it's neither 1 nor 2 in this case, choice D.